I am now two months into my three month journey to naturally double my testosterone from 300 to 600 nanograms per deciliter. And so far, we are flying. In the last video, I shared how I'd already increased my testosterone from 308 to 421 nanograms per deciliter in just one month. And in this video, I want to share my new result and see if we're still moving in the right direction. Spoiler alert, we may have a problem. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed, particularly in myself. We will also be checking on my estradiol levels, which were abnormally high last month, and see if we've been able to bring those down to a normal level. But before we get to the results, I want to show you this table. I put this together to easily show you what steps I've been taking over the last two months and how well I've been able to stick to them. So first we have month one. The first month of this journey, I plan to sleep at least eight hours per night, incorporate heavier weights into my workout, improve my nutrition, especially introducing more fats into my diet, and start supplementing with vitamin D, omega-3, and a multivitamin. And as I said in the last video, I was able to stick to this really well, so I'm gonna give all of these greens. Over the last month, the plan was to continue with all of these steps, but also add two additional supplements to the mix. Adogia agrestis and boron, because these were both suggested as helpful supplements to help increase testosterone levels. And as far as how well I got on, I'm gonna mark them like this. So sleep was no problem, but I really messed up on the workouts. So I've been working a lot this month, I've been traveling, and it's been really difficult to find time for the workouts. So I've only managed to do maybe one or two workouts per week, which is not good at all. I really need to get back into the groove on this one. I've also marked nutrition as yellow, because although I did hit all of my calorie targets, I did not focus on fats as much as I think I should have. Again, this is something I need to improve, this is not good. However, for supplements, I was absolutely religious with taking these. I took them every single day, so I'm marking all of these as green. So I hope that summarizes the plan so far and how well I've stuck to it. Let's get to the result, shall we? What if I said my new result was 500? That'd be pretty cool, right? What if I said my new result was 550? Well, it's neither of those. It's actually gone down. My new result is 392 nanograms per deciliter versus 421 last month. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed, particularly in myself for not following the plan properly. I would really have liked to have this as another month where the result's gone up, but it's not to be. With sticking to the supplements so well and sleeping the full eight hours each night, I did think I would see an increase this month, but I'm starting to learn that I really need to emphasize the nutrition and the exercise more than just relying on supplements, which of course makes perfect sense. They say that you can't out-train a bad diet. Well, in this case, I wasn't training and I also had a bad diet. It was a lose-lose, so of course my levels didn't go up. The good news is that this is only a little bit lower than my previous result, and there will be some fluctuation, so it's not the end of the world. And also, it is quite a bit higher than my first result of 308, so there is still that increase. However, of course, I would have liked to have seen an increase this month as well, so I am disappointed. So there are no excuses for next month. Now, what about my estradiol levels? So last month I had the result of 191 picomoles per litre, which is quite a bit higher than the range of 41 to 159. But this month I've been able to bring it down to a normal level of 152. So I'm now within range, albeit the top end of the range. And all I've done here is to make sure I drink water out of glass bottles rather than plastic bottles and try to filter my water when I remember to. So it feels really good to be able to bring this down to a normal level. The test I did last month that had the 54 blood markers, my estradiol levels were the only result which were out of range. So to be able to bring that back to a normal range, that feels good. I'm now officially normal. Okay, so what's the plan for next month? Well, I don't plan to introduce anything new next month. I'm just gonna focus a lot on my exercise and my nutrition because those are the two areas where I'm really falling behind at the moment. I think if I can follow the plan absolutely to the letter, then we'll see a big increase next month. Fingers crossed. And if not, then maybe it's time to bring in some more drastic measures. We've got one month left to see if I can hit my target. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the grand finale. And wish me luck. I'll see you in the next video.